Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and out today to give you guys a little look at my new knife. I had a uh, unboxing video of my new knife from Tom Chitwood. Uh, it's really nice, really nice knife, and I just wanted to come out today and uh, practice a little firecraft and uh, use the knife a little bit and see how it works. I'll give you guys another look just in case you didn't see that video. It's still a little oiled up from taking care of it. It's hard to see. Um, just because of the, the light, I guess. Maybe I can get a good picture at some point, but the, the micarta is actually, um, you know, like a layered micarta with green, black, and kind of an olive drab. It's really nice. Um, really excited about uh, checking this knife out. So I'm going to get a little fire going here. We're going to make a little pine needle tea and just enjoy a nice morning in the woods here. Spring has definitely arrived here in Louisiana. The birds are happy. Um, there are buds on all the trees. It's just perfect. And we've got a nice little cold snap for us. It's about 60 degrees today. So stay tuned and we're going to check out my new Tom Chitwood knife. All right, guys, so we're going to do a couple of simple, simple things with our new knife. Uh, I've got a little bit of wood here that we'll baton down. No reason to get a lot of wood today. I don't need a big fire, so I'm not going to get a big piece of wood. I can promise y'all that if you wanted to baton a larger piece of wood, this thing is beefy and can take any amount. Let's see if I can split this one in half here. Take any amount of beating you want to give it. So you're not going to have any problems batoning with this knife. Um, it's got a very large eighth inch steel um, spine, so not going to have a problem there. Let's go ahead and do some curls with this, so y'all can see the more important thing, which is the blade um, and the sharpness. Let's face it, with just about anything you can baton, but I can tell you this thing's not going anywhere with the baton.
All right, guys, so uh, made a little pine needle tea. And it's good, I'll tell you what. Really high in vitamin C. Um, excuse me, a really, really nice thing to drink on a uh, morning here in Louisiana. So we took a look today at my new blade from Tom Chitwood, did some really basic wood processing, a uh, little batoning, making some curls, made a quick fire with some birch bark. Uh, thanks to Cabot Bluegill for that birch bark. That stuff's awesome. And uh, really, really enjoyed um, coming out today. I already put the fire out. It started to really get windy and started to get to that ash phase and the little things were flying out. And it's just, you know, I live in a tinder box. I live in a piney forest and uh, there's a lot of dead pine needles on the ground. So really, really careful with fires out here. Uh, I can't emphasize to you guys enough, make a big area that's open, put it out early, wait another 30 minutes, put more water on it, and make sure that that fire is out completely before you leave the scene. Anyway, uh, just a quick video today, show you guys a little bit about Tom's knife. Um, if you all have any specific questions about it, uh, you can refer to both my unboxing video and uh, if not, just leave me a comment below. Ask me about the process and how it went. I really encourage you guys to, uh, if you're interested in a, in a bushcraft knife or a knife of any kind, talk to Tom. I think he can really take good care of you. And he's a great guy. So um, if you can get past his uh, very questionable sense of humor, then you can probably get a knife from him. So. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share really helps guys if y'all like the videos gets uh, gets the videos out to other people on YouTube and obviously it helps for you guys to subscribe so appreciate all the support so much fun doing this channel and um, stay tuned for more videos from Paleo Hiker MD